Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 13 of Let's Play Shovel Knight, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, if everything goes according to plan, this will actually be the finale of this Let's Play, and I haven't really decided what Let's Play I'm going to do right after this. Alright, let's get digging. Our epic clash with the Enchantress. Oh! Had to do that. Okay. Oh, jeez! Does this not remind you of Zelda? Those blocks? Well, that part was easy. Oh my god! And that part of the wall came at me. So where are the last of the music sheets? Remember, I'm still missing five. Oh. Okay, I see. It doesn't just fall on its own, it only falls, like, uh, depending on where you're moving. So, in other words, I should not go too far ahead. Because, you know, this could happen. This part frightens me. Ugh. I can't believe they got a part like this! Where you have to take your time and hope to God there's no pit right in front of you. You only have like so many blocks around at a time. There's space like by six spaces apart. I guess I can just keep going, but I'm a bit paranoid. Remember, I haven't seen this part before. They could just put a like a pit right there and troll me. They could have done that. Well, there's a checkpoint. Am I at the Enchantress already? Huh. It's a beautiful night, isn't it? Shield Knight, come with me. Let us leave this place. How pitiful. Clinging to false hope. Chasing ghosts. So, have you come to slay me, Knight? To avenge your beloved? Gaze into my eyes. See how fearful I am. Watch me cower as you draw your blade. I don't need a blade to fight evil. Shield Knight, I know you aren't lost forever. You haven't the slightest hope of defeating me, but I won't stop you from trying, so please, let us dance together into the abyss. We're down here? I don't like the looks of those flames. I would like to just bat them at her, but I'm just worried that the shots are just gonna go right above me. Nope, they worked just fine. Ooh, I don't like the looks of this. Like, he's, she's just creating pits. Hopefully there'll still be enough floor for the rest of this fight. Wait, do those flames actually create floor? I think they did, because they didn't destroy it. It's good to know I can hit her directly. I thought you couldn't. That you only had to, like, use her shots. I knew that was gonna happen. That I get hit right next to a pit. All right, round two. Oh, at least he wanted to sit through the dialogue again. This time I know I don't have to jump to use that attack. So I don't want to use the pogo attack, otherwise I'll end up destroying these blocks myself. There, that's better. Give myself more terrain to work with. Can those flames actually hurt me directly? I don't know. I 
Oh god, you can shoot them diagonally now. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. Oh my god, she was that close to defeat! Oi! Oh man, I'm at like quadruple digit money now. Well, at least I don't have to worry about picking that up. I mean, what else am I going to spend? Huh, Reflect Lord. I didn't think I would get that achievement. That's cool. Yeah, to try not to move as far as I could. Okay, that gives me more to work with. Give me everything to work with. Okay, she's close to defeat again. Good. Yes! Might as well pick up that money. <laughs> Oh look, she broke the windows. Do I get another phase? Huh, found Shield Knight. There we go. I gotcha, I gotcha. You caught me. If only I had known, I would have come sooner. You knew I was still there, even though it seemed hopeless. You never gave up on me. Well, I went for the money first, and I just had. He's so close to save her. I will never give up on you. I will follow you to the end of the world. It appears that maybe you have. What's happening? Oh no. When the amulet shattered, the magic within it was released. It's already gathering. It will escape and wreak havoc on everything. Unless we stop it. Unless we stop it, we can destroy it for good. Here and now. But we're both weak from battle. I've never been more ready. Come on, Shovel Knight. Let's fight together, like old times. Now, stay close to me. Okay. This is like a, a double boss battle? You mean Shield and I gotta work together? Alright, so this must be the final boss. Let's do this. Okay, I see what I need to do. I actually need to, like, get on her shield so I can hit her in the head. It would help if she didn't just jump herself. Good, I was able to use her for protection. Like, look, I can't get up there myself. She has to get up on, like, the highest area, but I can't reach it. How many of those orbs does she use at a time? Like, look, by the time I get there, it's too late! Oh, stop it, Shield Knight! You're not working with me! Come on, Shield Knight. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Ugh! We're crying out loud. I'm gonna die before we even get a chance to hit him directly. Why do you gotta go away from me? Like, come on! There's supposed to be a team. I hope to god this is not what I had to do, because I can't climb there. Do I have to use her body as a ladder? No, because I'm holding up. That doesn't work. Oh, oh, now you do it from there. I should have just not caught you if you're going to be like this. You could jump, like, a little bit lower, and then just rise a little bit higher. You know, defy the laws of physics. 
think there is another way I gotta do this. Oh, I can't jump on her. Am I supposed to use a pogo attack? Oh shit, I was supposed to be doing that the whole time. That's why I've been screwing up. Okay, now it's that simple. Okay, I'm one hit from death, so you know what? I should just, like, let myself get defeated. So I can just do this again with a lot more health. Hopefully I don't have to do both phases again. No, no, you, you stay right here. Good. And <laughs> they just leave the money right there. That's cool. I feel it was just a waste to use an I-Core just to get myself to full health when I took all that damage to begin with. Looks like I can only get like a one hit at a time. Nope, two. Maybe three. Okay, this attack pattern is actually pretty easy. Oh, it couldn't get up there at all. Okay, now the Enchantress is actually moving laterally. Oh, four hits! Wow! Oh, jeez, next base. Ah, oh, I couldn't reach her. I don't know how I feel, but okay, she's not destroying the entire floor. Oh! Almost got her. Okay, I'll just move to, like, a place I'm not really needing to be. Got her! Is this it? It's over, Shovel Knight! This place is falling apart! We have to get out of here! Let's go! I know. Well, so much for speaking. Shield Knight! Black Knight! Thank goodness you're here! Shovel Knight is wounded! Take him and get outside! No! I can't leave you behind. How will you escape? This magic is too strong. I can't hold out much longer. Run! You can't deflect it. It will tear you apart. I'm so happy. I got to see you both. One last time. Shield Knight! Go! Take Shovel Knight! Save him! Promise me you'll save him! And it's saving. Did I miss those music sheets? I bet you I did. Unless you get them automatically. Oh, I kind of hope you do. I couldn't really find anywhere you would locate them. Oh good, the tower's collapsing. Oh, that other toad is still not impressed. Oh, and so we just go to the credits already. Huh, <laughs> King Knight is actually just like a scrub in the floor. I'll rue the day I have to scrub by hand. And the trouble pond. Everybody's all happy, even the dancer. Let the celebrations begin! Yeah. So I bet you I missed those music sheets. Uh, I'll probably just uh, put where they are in the description. Oh, the Lich Yard for Spectre Knight. What's he doing now? The life of the party! <laughs> He's just juggling bottles now. Aww. And then the Iron Will is where Treasure Knight obviously lives. 
What's he doing now? Ill-gotten gains reclaimed. He doesn't seem so happy. At the Explodatorium, where Plague Knight lives. Is he still creating more... Explodatories? Advanced Potion Class! Huh! Made the old man turn into a woman? At the Lost City, where Old Knight lives, so what's happening here? Excavations and Expeditions. Come on, get the treasure, get the treasure! Oh, he created a ladder! But Horseman can't climb. The Wandering Travelers. There's Rise and those other dudes. Always ready for battle. Yeah, someone in the comments saying that Rise is actually a guy and not a girl. But they look so feminine. Oh, the Flying Machine, a Propeller Knight. Living the life carefree. Yeah, and the armor outpost, another guy in an airship. Those two be connected. You know, the Clockwork Tower for Tinker Knight. The credits actually have some, you know, remixes of their music. You know, they're making toys for the children, even that little robot. Yeah, and that wolf wanted to get the fish, but he couldn't. Ah, for Polar Knight. He looks so lonesome with a big shovel. But nothing is said about him. Oh, there's more to this. Save at last. I kept my promise, Shield Knight. Rest well, Shovel Knight. Until we meet again. Okay, so I can't wake up automatically. Victory! Yeah! And that's it! That's Shovel Knight for the PC! Again, I'll probably put where those treasures are in the description. I mean, those music sheets. Because it doesn't look like I found them. But, like, I didn't find anything suspicious. Maybe you guys did, and just spotted it better than I could, and that's okay. I mean, this is a blind let's play, not a full 100% run, well... If it was, it was, I would say like 95 or 97. So I still consider that pretty impressive for like, a first time playing this game. Just figuring things out as I go along, like that final boss for instance. That took me like several minutes thinking what I had to do. I thought I had to time my jumps, I thought I could actually climb her. Until I tried everything except the pogo stick attack, and that was the one that worked. Alright, so what did I think about this Let's Play overall? I thought that was a very awesome game. Huh, Axe Studios, the guys that were involved in like, uh, Two Brothers? I think that's the name of that game? Hey, we're seeing like a, a lot of special things, like, you know, like, indie reporters, guys that were involved in the game, famous game developers, could be famous Let's Players as well. Like, you probably just noticed, like, some of them could be indie Let's Players that you can see that have promoted this game heavily. You might see them there. You, you probably won't see me, because while I was excited for Shovel Knight, I wasn't that big on promoting it, like, some game developers, or game reviewers, or even Let's Players are. That's a very huge list there. I don't know if I was involved with the Kickstarter. Yeah, I probably wasn't. But, but then again, you see Kickstarters for, like, potato salad, so... Maybe that's why I was skeptical. But in any case, I was really glad that a lot of people backed this game. You guys definitely made this happen. So, what is my next Let's Play that I still haven't decided yet, but you'll find out later on. But in any case, this is the Bonga signing off, saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Oh, there's my record! Oh, Pridemore Keep was a pretty good score.
Alright, so let's see. I died three times in the Lost City, four times in the Clockwork Tower. Wasn't a lot of deaths overall. That, that's pretty good. Died three times in the final boss. I guess I could be expecting that. I lost 32 lives. Hauled up 150,107 treasure, lost 23,371, and this was like a 4 hours and 58 minutes and 4 seconds, 94% completion. That's not bad for a first playthrough. I mean, you can't like expect MLG level for like a game that I've hardly ever played. But luckily, it's one of those games you could easily pick up on your own. Like it just added so much for a simple platformer. And thank you for making this game, Yacht Club Games! I think you get a new game plus for this. Oh, wait. Well, at least you're not dead, Shield Knight. You look injured, though. Wonder if there will be a sequel you can actually play as Shield Knight. Almost like a Proto Man style game? Aww. I heard rumors there would be like a sequel for like Shovel Knights, maybe done in the SNES or an N64 type format. I would definitely let's play that game in a heartbeat as well. The end. That's an emotional ending, I will admit. Not much needed to be said. Okay, now is there actually a new game plus? Let's find out. Okay, I cleared. Would you like to start New Game Plus? You'll begin a more challenging quest, but retain your collected equipment. Oh, that, that's cool. So, like, uh, even if you beat the game, there is some replayability. Almost like a hero mode, like you would see in Skyward Sword. So, see you later, everyone, and thank you so much for watching. Or maybe I can actually just use this opportunity to show off where the uh, five music sheets are. Just give me a moment. Okay, to uh, close off this uh, Let's Play for Good, I actually did find where those final five sheets are. You're actually supposed to go here to the left in this dark area. Where all the lava is. Set the time jumps carefully. Make sure you're not doing anything too stupid. And eventually you'll get to where all these treasures are. Lots of money, all the music sheets, full health, you know, just in case you lost health in those blocks. And like a truffle pond. So, there you go. You can actually finish the game and just get everything. You know, remember, you can't leave a level and keep all your items because you'll lose your spoils. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, just kidding. It's me again. So, I want to actually return those uh, music sheets. Let's see. Oh, you found the Betrayer. So, helpful tip for my fellow bards. Never accept amulets as payment. Trust me, don't. Now that I have this music sheet, blah, blah, blah. Unbelievable! You have recovered every single opus in my oath! A chromed out curator, a heroic historian. You may have saved the village, but your real contribution is to the fine arts. Bravissimo! And you get your achievement for a music lover. So, there you go. I pretty much found everything that there is to find in this game. So, if you want to try out New Game Plus yourself, well, you should definitely buy yourself a copy of this game on Steam, or you can get it on the Wii U or 3DS. It's entirely up to you. At least one person that participated in my giveaway will be able to enjoy this. Hopefully they played all the way through, but that's neither here nor there. So again, for good, see you later, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for another Let's Play.